right now on Cal TV Election Desk. Hitting the campaign trail, what's on the agenda for the presidential candidates? Are our elections safe? The decision from the Trump administration that could lead to international interference. But first, it's the reason why more mailboxes are being taken away in Oakland. Good evening and welcome back to Cal TV Election Desk. I'm your host, Laylee Ipsa. Tonight, our coverage begins in Oakland, where as demonstrators took to the streets to honor the lives of those taken by police brutality, mailboxes were being taken off the streets. The U.S. Postal Service removed six mailboxes just in Oakland, saying that it was for safety reasons ahead of the protests. They didn't want them to get vandalized. But demonstrators say that the timing seems just a little too convenient. And I mean, can you blame them? Yes, these demonstrations have been about police brutality, but during many of them, we've been seeing this push to get out to the polls in November. Leaders are emphasizing the necessity of voting, and as they're doing this, one of the main pieces of election equipment is being removed from their streets. And remember, this comes just a few weeks after the Postmaster General said he would no longer be removing any more mailboxes. Well, the U.S. Postal Service has responded, and they do say that all those mailboxes will be returned back to the streets today. And from removing mailboxes to removing briefings, the director of national intelligence says he will no longer brief Congress in person on election security and foreign election interference. Now, this is a decision that comes by the Trump administration, who says they're concerned about leaks. Whether it was Shifty Schiff or somebody else, uh, they leak the information before it gets in. And what's even worse, they leak the wrong information. Now, you may remember over the summer, the DNI actually found evidence that Russia was trying to interfere with the 2020 election by sabotaging former Vice President Joe Biden, and that China did not want President Trump to win re-election. So there are valid concerns when it comes to election interference. Now, it's important to note that the DNI will still continue to brief Congress just in written briefings, which many many leaders say, is not enough to paint the whole picture. Both presidential candidates are set to hit the campaign trail this week to talk about the ongoing wave of racial injustice. Now, President Trump is actually scheduled to go to Kenosha. Now, that's the site where 29-year-old Jacob Blake was shot in the back seven times by police officers. But the Wisconsin governor says he doesn't want Trump to come. He released a statement to Twitter which read in part, I am concerned your presence will only hinder our healing. I am concerned your presence will only delay our work to overcome division vision and move forward together. Former Vice President Joe Biden is scheduled to appear in Pennsylvania today. He's going to talk about racial injustice and also fire back at the claim that President Trump and many other Republicans made last week during the RNC about how Americans wouldn't be safe in Joe Biden's America. His response, how safe do you feel in Trump's America? Well, that's going to do it for me today. I'm Laylee Ipsa, and I'll see you Wednesday for another episode of Cal TV Election Desk.